Welcome back to Team O'Neill. I'm Chris. I'm here joined with Christian, our head motorsport mechanic, and we thought it would be a fun video to talk about how a transmission works. And really for me, I, in all of my racing, learning about the mechanics has really made me a much better motorsport race car driver. And that's something that Tim O'Neill was very passionate about and he was a mechanic, so he had that skill set. For me, I don't know a lot and I've had to learn it and I broke a lot of parts and components. So we wanted to give you guys a chance to learn from us and some of our mistakes um, on how an actual transmission works. And we have this transmission apart because we had a little issue, Christian. We did, we did. <laughs> um, so it sounds like we blew apart the case of this transmission in a rally in the Rally Golf. Yes, correct. Um, so you've gotten to work on it, but now that it's apart, this is a really cool way to show our, our viewers what how a transmission works. So. What's happening here? What's this shaft? What's going on here? All right, so what we have here is a manual transaxle transmission. So mostly found in front wheel drive cars. Um, what you have here is your main transmission shaft. This is driven off your engine by the clutch. So what happens is when your engine is on and the clutch is engaged, it spins this shaft, okay? And what'll happen is when you shift it, so this is a blocker ring, when it engages into this gear, this gear set is now engaged and will drive our differential. So now we should be able to see that it's driving the differential. Bring that forward. And that's what's putting power out to the wheels. And that is what's putting power out to the wheels. So when I miss my shift, uh, I, I, there's kind of two things. I didn't push down the clutch enough, right? Right. And the, so those both those shafts are spinning at different speeds. Or I didn't push down the clutch at all, and I'm shift forcing my trying to force the gear into place, and the gears are just clanking. Is that yes. what's happening? That is basically what's happening. Yes. And so what will end up happening then is if they break a little pieces they can get caught in these gears and start chewing. They can wreak havoc in the transmission for sure, <laughs> yes. How did this gearbox break? What happened with this? So this gearbox broke and you can't hardly see it, but these have hypoid gears and what happens is they're at an angle. They're not straight cut like a lot of race transmissions are. Um, these are actually stronger, uh, but they create more heat and that's because they don't just have force that's spinning laterally. Now they have force that's pushing these two shafts away. So what happened is this shaft is now being pushed down and it cracked the case underneath this, underneath the shaft. So just so for review, so I understand when I shift, shift into first gear, yes. this was lifted and now engages into a gear. Yes. And that this spinning shaft now pushes this differential. Yes. Now when I go into neutral, yep. I, this is now neutral. That is now neutral. And, and the, sh the shaft spins freely. And then if I go to second, it's straight up from there. Yep. And that starts to spin. Now when I go to third gear, it yep. moves to this ring. Yes. So now this will go Staying back to neutral. Okay. Now this will go down for third gear and then it will continue to go in the same direction. Okay. And then again, you'll go to neutral and right. up for fourth gear. Okay. So the smaller the gears, the fat, like this is an engineering class now, right? Yes. The smaller the gears, the faster it's spinning. Right? Yes. Because the gear ratio now is smaller. Right. It takes more rotations of this shaft to spin this shaft once. And so that's where you get your gear ratio. So this has a first gear ratio of 3.8. And that means that this shaft spins 3.8 times to spin this one once. Got it. So and then what happens when I go in reverse? How does a reverse, how do I go backwards? So reverse, these slides will be in the middle. Okay. And this over here is your reverse idler and slider. And what'll happen is the slider will come up and engage into this slider. Okay. So now, let's see if I can do this for you. Now, oh. the, the ring gear will spin the opposite direction. 
and that's going backwards now. So before and forwards, this gear was going this way, and now it's going that way. Yes. Ah, okay. So, I mean, really, just seeing it, understanding that, I mean, this is obviously some heavy duty metal, but you really don't have many opportunities to miss shifts before you could start to really uh, make some damage in your gearbox. Correct. And that's pretty interesting to actually get to see how it all meshes together. You know, this is obviously a case full of fluid. Yes. It's on it, you know, we're it's, looking at yeah, it in it's a different, over. Um, yeah. but yeah, no, I think at least just to get to see the visual of this, I really appreciate you letting us come in the shop here today, Christian, and see this. And um, yeah, no, we look forward to learning more from you in the shop here. And No problem. If you guys have any questions or want to know any more about Team O'Neill, please uh, follow us at teamoneal.com. Uh, throw some comments or questions in the comment section. We'll get Christian to answer them for you. And look forward to us out on the stages, and, and we look forward to having you at the school. Thanks. Right six long, 100. Left six long, 150. Right six long into small crest, then 300. 